interrupt our programming to bring you breaking news on BBC iPlayer. I just got my first update live on the desk. Melbourne, 1986, where the big news is behind the scenes. You are the face of that network. It's a story of the decade. Nothing that you can say is worse than what I'm thinking right now. The Newsreader. Let's do it. This is News at Six! Starts Sunday night at nine on BBC iPlayer. On the iPlayer, so... Hello. Oh, I can't breathe. I, how, how badly are you feeling on a scale of one to ten? Twelve. You should go downwards, not upwards. Oh, uh, no, you know, you're right. Yeah. Well, I'm about a fifteen. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Did you have a nice night? Oh, <laughs> brilliant night. Brilliant. The thing is, Rylan, I can't... The second half is a little bit of a dim memory. Right. But I did try and dance with everybody at one point. I think you did dance with everyone. I say I tried to, because, uh, you know, it's... But it's what you do. I just wondered if there'd been any injuries on the dance floor, because... I was, Someone actually broke their wrist last night. They didn't? Yeah. <gasps> Dawny. That... She's all right. She said she had a lovely time, though. Oh, Dawny, I hope that wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. I'd love you, Did you enjoy it, though? Tracy. I had a long chat with Tracy. Yeah, with Trace. Jamie. Love Me him. Me brother. Love yeah. him. Your lovely niece. Oh, Olivia. Beautiful. And she's stunning. Oh, stunning. But listen, the lady of the night. Ooh. I don't... I don't <laughs> Excuse me? I was gonna, what do you call me? No, I was going to talk about your mum, Linda. Did you just it. call my mum a lady of the night? <laughs> Linda, you I know... I don't think I that's right. No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> what time did you get in today? Uh, seven. Oh. So I got three hours sleep, but that's probably more than you got, I think. Oh, yeah, definitely. But anyway, listen, why are we moaning? Because it was a brilliant... It was a beautiful time. But I do have a confession. What have you stole? I did steal something. What did you steal from my house? Well, the thing was, there was fries to eat, wasn't there, for me? Yes, we had a famous takeaway place. Yes. Um, Yes. So... And I was just, I walked past your gym and the door was wide open. I thought, oh, that's lovely. What, that's, you know, I heard about your gym. What have you stolen? No, no. So I walked in and I thought I could have a go on something, but I didn't. But my eye caught a whole basket full of a well-known chocolate bar. Yes. And I thought, oh, he wouldn't mind, would he? So I put two in my bag. You do realise they're not the actual chocolate bar. They're protein bars of that chocolate. Oh, I, well, I, I did have a sudden burst of energy. <laughs> That's why they're in the gym. Oh, I just thought they were ordinary, you know, no, thingy bars. they look like that, but they're actually the protein versions of them. Oh, sorry. Well, good luck I'm, to you. I'm, I thought you were looking muscly this <laughs> morning. <laughs> no, but I'll, really? I, so I did, I did that burst of energy on the dance floor. There it was. That's what it was. I had, I had a... Well, thank you so much for coming. No, Mummy listen, was over the I, moon you came. I was absolutely amazing. And you're always welcome. Really? Can I just pop by? No, that's a lie. Let's do travel. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, girl. So rude. Um, the right. North... Sorry. No, sorry. It's one of them days. I, just, I was just thinking about something else. North Circular Road, eastbound, is closed. Uh, well, it certainly was around the Edinburgh, Edmund, Edmonton, Tottenham area following a, an accident. Um, the... M20 is closed eastbound. Now, this is all to do with getting across to France, which is proving impossible for some people. Mm. I feel so sorry for all those people. Anyway, uh, w- what it is is that the M20 is only open to EU-bound freight traffic. So if you're coming down from Junction 8 at Leeds Castle down to the Eurotunnel terminal, it's just one massive queue. I think it's kind of moving but slowly. Um, when you get to the Eurotunnel, we've got four-hour delays there on the ferries and also a four-hour delay at the Euro Tunnel itself for passenger services. But um, th- that situation is made worse by the fact that the diversion for cars is the A2, M2 and M20 and the M2 at Junction 7 is really slow going. If you're going eastbound, queues really back from around Junction 5. And there's been an accident on the M2 eastbound at Junction 1. Two lanes are closed there for now. Uh, there's uh, problems on Greater Anglia and Hull trains today. Today. Both services are severely restricted due to strike action. 03 700 102 has it up. 03 700 100. Blame you, Brian. It's my 03 fault. 700 100 200 is the number more in an hour. You're right. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, sure? I don't know really. I, I honestly don't know. I've, I've sort of. Lottie's still not even here. 
Well, I know, but she is. She's on a good. Mi- she's on a mission she to is. help us. So that's. I why. said, just get any food you <laughs> can find. <laughs> Anything. I want loads of things. Oh, uh, guess who's in in a minute? Sunita. No. Uh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, Sunita. Legend. Le- icon. Legend. Oh, God, the gays love Sunita. Really? Oh, <laughs> gay icon. Uh, Absolutely. Oh. No, I'm so happy she's here. Love Sunita. She's always been so lovely to me. She's got yeah. a new single out. Is she? Yeah, we're going to be playing she? it in a minute. Because there's a little dog running around. That's Sunita's dog. Is it? Yeah. A beautiful little thing. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, I'll see you in an hour, and we are going to be having a good old chat with Sunita right after this.